Guys, it just brought home another win. It means it's time for another beer. This one is one I've been really excited about. Guys, again, from the Brood Palette, this is Gorbachev's Gift. It is a 10% ABV Russian Imperial Stout. It was done in 2015. Got an awesome label on here. It's got a cool story on the side, but I'm gonna, not going to read that right now. Like I said, 10% ABV. It's a Russian Imperial Stout with coffee added. So the story is that he drank two-thirds of the keg and then decided he wanted to add some uh, coffee to it. So he says um, he got some cold brewed coffee. He said for the coffee, he used his friend's Merlin's home roasted beans, which were aged in a whiskey barrel before they were roasted. So there, the coffee beans were aged in a whiskey barrel, and then his buddy Merlin roasted the, the uh, coffee beans for him. And so that's going to bring a unique character to a Russian Imperial Stout. Barry, forgive me for not the clean glass and not necessarily the right uh, glassware. But here we go, guys. Gorbachev's gift. Again, he noted he thought the... Uh, Carbonation might be a little low, but for a Russian Imperial Stout, I would kind of like that. Hey, it looks all right to me. All right. Here we go. Ooh, dang. Time to get the celebration started. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, let's do this. Ooh, maybe that's a little too loud. I didn't want to fight with uh, my celebration back there. Um, wow, right off the top, you taste like a really deep, roasty, roasty maltness. A little bit of chocolate. And you get just a hint of that coffee. It's not a pronounced hit you in the face. It's an underlying tone that kind of melds with that roastiness. And maybe just a slight bit of maybe toffee. Oh, it smells really nice. Carbonation looks really great. Head sticking around really well. Looks like a relatively thick beer. Black is night. I mean, there is not even on the edges. Am I getting any uh, any light? Man, let's dive in. This thing smells amazing. Oh man, dude! Whoa! Wow. First of all, I'm going to say well done. And it's got everything that you would want, except for one thing I've already noted. I'll get to that in a second. Everything that you would want in a Russian Imperial Stout as from a flavor profile. It's got a very nice, deep, roasted flavor. Again, some chocolate, but it's almost like a dark chocolate. You don't get a ton of coffee. You get just a hint, but I see where that whiskey barrel aged aspect of that coffee is coming through because you get a hint of something that you can't really put your taste buds on. It's not necessarily a whiskey flavor. But there is a definite uniqueness that I can only attest to those coffee beans. Again, it's not an overt coffee flavor, but the undertones are there that play really well with that kind of chocolate chocolatiness. Oh, and a great kind of toasty. It's got just enough residual sweetness. It's not cloying, but it's got just a little bit of that sweetness that you would want. 
Now my only critique right off the bat that I tasted is that the mouthfeel is just on the light side for a Russian Imperial Stout. It's not light, but it's, it's on the light side for a Russian Imperial Stout. So it's probably in the medium range instead of kind of being, uh, you know, a low mouthfeel. You know what I mean. It's, it's, it's in the medium range instead of being a really thick mouthfeel. But it doesn't detract from it very much, and the carbonation is spot on. It's medium to medium low, which I think is perfect. Berry. Holy cow, man. This is my favorite so far. Definitely my favorite so far out of all the ones I've tried. This is beer number four. Well done, man. I mean, too many Imperial Stouts out there can be cloying. There's a, there's a fine balance between um, too sweet and too dry. I think you hit it right on the head. Um, well done on this. I apologize tonight. I'm not great on my descriptors. You might even have some really just slight notes of a like a raisininess in there too. I it's ran out of uh, memory. I'm going to run out of memory again. Barry, you hit a home run with this one, dude. I'm really impressed. Well done. Is a really, really good example of Russian Imperial Stout. And this thing is going to age incredibly well, I would imagine, for years to come. I think that roastiness is just going to turn over time. And, dude, fantastic. Way to go. Thank you for sending this. Got two more to go. Psyched about those as well. But, again, Barry, thanks for sending this out. This has been a delight. I'm going to savor this for a while. So, dude, you, you have a great night. Everybody out there, cheers, y'all. This is Gorbachev's gift, and it's a dandy. Y'all have a good one.